Gouda Hari's avatar manifested a rain cloud of prema, and thus he fulfilled his mind's desire. Desires. On the only the assembled devotees can understand how the Lord of Radhika's Sri Radhika's life wept, crying, assuming the ecstasy of Radhika herself as Gauda. So beautiful, beautiful verse. In uh, Ananda, this Babaji is explaining how the Lord went to work. How did he accomplish that desire to feel Shemate Radhika's ecstasies and to understand more about their relationship? After mentioning the cause for Sriman Mahaprabhu's descent, the blessed author now describes how the Lord got to work by saying, Gaura Hari Avatari Premera Badara Kori Sadila Manera Nijakaja. Gaura Hari's avatar manifested a rain cloud of prem and thus he fulfilled his mind's desires <laughs> shriman mahaprabhu thought of two objectives he had two things in mind when he came like a cloud of mercy a rain cloud of prey. It was a byproduct that he was distributing the prey. Because whatever Radha and Mohan are feeling and what they are exchanging, they also distribute that love. It is natural that love also wants to be distributed and wants to be shared. This is what love dancing means. Yes. Moving about, flowing, distributing. And I can also check myself. I can see how much this is happening in my life. How can I also feel the love, connect with that love, and how much am I able to distribute it, give it to others? So to relish the three matters mentioned in the previous verse was the main objective and to give prema to the people of the world is the secondary or auxiliary objective means like an addition that is a plus extra. Srila Ramananda Rai told Sriman Mahaprabhu, accepting the feelings and complexion of Radhika, you have descended to relish your own flavors. Your own secret aim is to relish Prema. And as a concomitant objective, you fill the three worlds with Prema too. This is from Chaitanya Taitamrita. Concomitant means like a byproduct, like an extra plus or gift. It is not hard at all for Sriman Mahaprabhu to fill the world with prema, for he is Godahari. And the word Hari has different meanings, of which uh, two are predominant. He destroys all inauspiciousness and steals the mind with his love. Wow, this is so beautiful also. Ne? 
when we read about the descriptions of the meaning of Mahamantra, there are many, many different meanings. Hari means stealing. And Srimati Radhika is called Hara. She's also stealing. So they are stealing both each other's heart and each other's love. But also they are stealing the the hearts of the living entities who are coming into contact with them. And thus, we can speak about them too, also as two, as Goranga and Gorahari or Gaurangi. And they are destroying inauspiciousness and stealing the mind with their love. Because as we have heard so many times, we don't see only Mahaprabhu as Arigatakusaimas, Tairadi. We don't see Mahaprabhu only as Krishna. We see him primarily in the aspect of his love giving, you know, eternal beloved Srimati Radhika who is covering him with her golden complexion and giving him a view of her love into his heart, so to say, as Gauda Hari. Can I and with his... A... Yes? I just uh, this, this, this uh, line from, um, from Chaitanya Charitamrita, these two uh, meanings of Hari. I just want to push a little farther on what you said, if you don't mind. Yes. When it's taking auspiciousness, that's inauspiciousness. That means it's taking all the circumstances away that might be negative for the flow of love. So purifying, cleaning, taking away all distractions and all mm, intellectual constructions that might stop that love from flowing. And in the same way, when he says stealing the mind, the mind, of course, is the problem. Mind is the blockage. It's the heart that needs to be speaking. So when the mind is stolen, then there's a passageway open for better flow of love. Wonderful. Yes. You have become so rasic that you have always many, many. Uh, rasic means there's many meanings no? and many feelings. So the more feelings we get, when we are reading these verses and the more revelations are coming, that is beautiful. Thank you, Udovji. Stealing the inauspiciousness mm. and also stealing our hearts, stealing all that is needed. I, I feel in the, when Mahaprabhu, when Goranga Gauda Hari was here, I remember that class that uh, Jayananda, you gave about Prakashananda. Because these kind of great scholars, they had so much knowledge, but they didn't have the rasa, the feeling of it. So Mahaprabhu also was just sitting there and stealing their hearts by his beauty, isn't it? He was stealing, he was bewildering. Yes. <laughs> so at first, uh, Gurakashananda Saraswati was watching, and as soon as see Mahaprabhu, his his heart is like beating, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, he lost to 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 argue Mahaprabhu. But uh, you know, but superficially, he's a big guru who has thousand thousand disciple, so he has to say something. You know, but uh, as soon as he hear Mahaprabhu's sweet voice, he's like his mind so attracted, and mm. then and all hear his discussion, he accept all Mahaprabhu's words, <laughs> and then after finishing his 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 attraction is not anything, and then one disciple say. You know, Mahaprabhu's Mahaprabhu dancing is so wonderful. Now Mahaprabhu is dancing and so ecstasy, flowing tear, you know, like kind of river. So Guruji, 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 come, come. Then Prakashan like become child. Long after, you know, long after 
Mahaprabhu. And then many people were there, like kind of so much crowd, and uh, tried to see Mahaprabhu. And then he saw Mahaprabhu dancing, like he become crazy, he mad. <laughs> Completely his mind was stolen. Then he was, he has so much desire to, to, to stay with Mahaprabhu. And he could not, he could not sleep at that night. And then he immediately went to Mahaprabhu. I don't know morning or night, I'm not sure. But he went to Mahaprabhu. He, he like uh, catches the feet of Mahaprabhu and beg <coughs> and Mahaprabhu. I don't, I don't want anything. <clears throat> I don't want the position. I want to any disciple. I don't know anything. Just I want to have with you. I want to stay with you. Mm. Please, please stay with you. I can do your manual service. I can do anything for you, for your behalf, on, on your behalf. And then, Mahaprabhu said, no, you, I cannot take with you. I cannot take you with me. Because I have another plan. Mute. No sound is coming here. <laughs> Sundaram, can you hear uh, uh, Bunga Mandir? Can you hear Maharaj? No, Didi, I cannot hear. Also. Oh, mm -hmm. There is some problem in Vrindavan, I think. No, oh, this okay? Yes, yes, back. Thank you. I don't know. So, so after 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 seeing Mahaprabhu's ecstatic dancing, Krakashananda's heart is completely melted and stolen. He he decided he has strong one desire coming. Oh, I want to stay with Mahaprabhu. Like so, you know, like we met. Sadhu Maharaj, oh, I want to stay, Sadhu Maharaj, you know, I want to always stay with you like this. So Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu was so attractive, like a Krishna or like a Radhika. So one day, he, before Mahaprabhu, le you know, leaving that uh, Benares, I think last night or morning, Krakashananda Saraswati went to Mahaprabhu and catch his feet and beg the mercy. Mahaprabhu, I have one strong desire. Please fulfill me. I don't want anything. I don't want any disciple. I don't want money. I want to any, don't have any prestige position. No, I don't want anything. Just I want, I want to you. <laughs> Give me. Please stay with you. I want to follow you. Please bring me as many as servant. <clears throat> it is said, he said like this. One story told. And then Mahababa said, no. Again, it stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Back. Maybe okay. there's a. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you also like this. Okay, maybe better. So Mahaprabhu said, no, I cannot take with you. No, I cannot take, nobody, I cannot take, nobody. So, but I have, I have one, I already brought your place. I have another desire for you. I have plan for you. Please go to Brindavan. Brindavan is I for your place. If you go to Braja, then all your desire will fulfill. Everything in a fulfill. 
And then, this some, some opinion there, but one story say, at that time, Mahaprabhu changed name. Of Prakashananda. Prakashananda to Prabodhananda. There is some opinion, different opinion, but uh, according to Anandas Babaji Maharaj, accepting Prabodhananda is Prakashananda. So, I'm, my feeling also, my feeling also, it may correct. So, and then Prakashananda you know, come to Brindavan and do Bhajan. And it is uh, according to Kapo opinion. He straightly doing Raga Bhakta. This is interesting. He's Maya Bhadi Sanyashi. He studied so many books. But he threw away everything. He directly go into Raga Bhakta. Raga Bhakta. Again. So, the mercy of Radha Rani, he can see all pastime of Radha and Moha. And also, he could understand the glory of Vrindavan. And also, he could understand the glory of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So, therefore, he wrote Vrindavan Mahimamrita, Chaitanya, Chaitanya Chandra, Sorry, I forgot <laughs> some book. And also, Radha Rasa Staniti. Mm -hmm. So, I believe, you know, so this, this Prabhonana Saraswati was so much mercy from Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And uh, his heart is completely merited, completely, you know, appreciate Gauranga Mahaprabhu's mercy. So this is, this bus mentioned how Gauranga Mahaprabhu give prema. Of course, this book is Narottam Dastaku, not Prabhupada But the same, even though Narottam Das may not see Mahaprabhu, he was born, I think, very near Mahaprabhu disappearance, maybe 1530, four, three, four, five, Ara, at that time, Narottama Das was appear. It seems Mahaprabhu gave some Shakti to Narottama Das Thakur. <coughs> because in Padma River, Mahaprabhu So it, it say Mahaprabhu gave to Padma River so please keep this prema because my dear devotee Narottama is coming. So he came, please give this to prema to Narottama. Then Padma Riva said, oh Mahaprabhu, that's okay, all right, but how can I understand Narottama, who is Narottama or not? I don't understand who is Narottama. No, you can understand as soon as he bathes, he touch your, your, your water, then you can understand who is Narottama. Then Narottama bathes this Padma River and then Narottama body was black. Mm. And, but he, he, his body color become into golden color. It's mm. pretty shock to see. His color is changing, <laughs> you know, what's happening? And also, his mood also completely changing. Like Mahaprabhu went to, to meet uh, Ishwara Puripada. You know, and then after meeting Ishwara Puri, and then take Diksha, <laughs> Again, <laughs> you know, his mood was completely changing. He became mad after Prema. Like I may say, Mahababa. He was completely drowning the ocean of Mahababa. So <laughs> I dearly pray, you know, by, by all devotees' mercy, good mercy, I may also drown 
<laughs> in the in the ocean of you know prema, you know I to, I I want to forget forget everything, expect Radha Mohan Seba, mm -hmm. you know, that's you know this my dear my dear Uttama there Uttama Uttama ji maybe helping me or Suniti. Yes, you are now in the good association. It is a good combination. It will happen for sure, and it's Kartik. <laughs> yeah, Kartik time, you know, and Gorabani. I wish Gorabani give me mercy. This Dayanidi, you know, give me mercy. You know, Sundaram Babuji, give me mercy. You know, Atra Krishna Babu, give me mercy. Like, you know. So, this, this, by the association of Dashka Vaishnava, it, it happening. Sorry, I, I said too much. No, it's wonderful. You got carried away. And that is also the effect of of this mercy is coming to you. <laughs> you got so much excited because that is our subject. How when the people hear about Goranga or when the devotees hear and then they get the mercy, then we get carried away. We forget everything and we just float in the love and float in the nectar of the Leela. So we are also praying, like you said, for just a little drop of this madness that we also forget our external identifications and the mind, that the mind becomes crazy and mad. Because then it's very easy to, uh, to always chant and always remember and always be happy. Especially for us uh, as man, it's more problem. Because we have a pressure of man. You know, we think, oh, I'm man. You know, <laughs> I'm. Mudavji, can you do your magic? Uttamaji has magic. So if we have pressure of man, if we thinking, I'm this body, I'm man. I'm enjoyer. That person cannot enter Braja and also Nikunja. So we have to give up this Purushabhima bodily consciousness. Yeah. This is, you know, always saying this Anandas Baba. <laughs> and also Gurudev also. Yeah, we should be style, style. He's now so, he was so heavy to us. You have to be style, no sanchari, no sanchari, no sanchari. Yes, means no drifting away in our uh, habit, because it's a habit. Like you say, we have a certain body, we have a certain mind, and that we have since birth. Now, this is like, in our case, 60 years. That's a very long time for a human being. These patterns are very, very deep. No? So this deep old habits. Old <laughs> habits, you know, I also... Recognize, oh my God, I'm, you know, getting older. How can I change, you know? But uh, we have to stay in style. Style Baba, this is our only hope. Otherwise, we, can, <laughs> we cannot be Radha Dasi. This, so I'm begging the mercy, you know? Let's beg so, together. Let's go crazy together. <laughs> Also, we are family, you know, we are family. We try to help each other. That is important, really true. Yeah, Guru Dev say, we are family, we are, you know, family, you know, like. We need this feeling of, of closeness and no you know, know these masks and all these external roles, then we can be ourselves as a very innocent and sweet being of Dasi, of Srimati Radhika, and we can learn how to live in these feelings. That is our desire. And we see that when Mahaprabhu was meeting these big scholars, he would, you know, it was not with words. He was just giving his, you know, beauty, his sidelong glance, his sweet, sweet voice. 
it was not by knowledge that the transformation happens. So we can see he was giving relation, he was giving feelings. And then when they feel it, they become mad. And like you said, then when we feel also we are the same category, we 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 get mercy of, of Vaishnavas, of Radha Mohan, of Sadhu and of Gurudev. We also feel we don't want to leave. We have to come back because I want to nourish my feelings of sweetness, of of a new me. I am also sick with my old me with my identify identification as this body and all, all these roles that we have in this world, we are also kind of like want to overcome them. And even uh, the big scholars, Mahaprabhu was just getting their hearts by his stealing beauty and stealing smile. So we can see also in this how Shimati Radhika is working through Krishna. She is stealing his mind and she is also stealing the minds of all the devotees who are attracted to Gauranga, to Gaurangi. So again, this verse from Chaitanya Chaitamrita that causes us so much ecstasy right now. The word Hari has different meanings, of which two are predominant. He destroys all inauspiciousness and steals the mind with his love. With his own body, Gaudahari has shown this greatly loving golden complexion of Shirada. And thus he instantly destroys all the inauspicious sensual cravings within the hearts of the conditioned souls and steals everyone's mind by giving prema. Confirmation. <laughs> we need this. We need this experience. I feel these were the best experiences in my life in bhakti. When I feel this madness of con no consideration, not any comfort to get out of the comfort zone and get lost in love, get lost in this madness. Yes, I want to serve this mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I want to go to Vrindavan. I want to do service there. I want to distribute Prem Prashad in any kind of way. All these things, they touch the heart and this gives us this feeling, yes, it's worth it. I don't care. I just give up everything else. And so we see here, this is also mercy. It's coming to us. It's not that we can produce it. She is coming, Shimati Radhika. <laughs> just as the monsoon clouds shower rain in all directions to soothe and moisten, the hated affliction of the world. Similarly, loving Gauda Hari makes a cloud of prema rise in the universal sky and soothes the conditioned soul's heated affliction of the three kinds of material misery and inundates everyone in an ocean of prema. Wow, this is very poetic, so sweet. So we can also understand if some shower of mercy is coming, some unexpected shower of mercy, then we get these feelings of this love in the heart. And the, the side effect is also that the heart becomes calm and soft and the heart wants nothing else. And we get soothed, means there is something that is uh, relaxing. And then again, in this relaxation, more prema can grow, more <coughs> bhajan can grow. In the words of the Mahajan, it is seen. 
A golden rain cloud showers torrents of love. Hema jalada koi prema dhara bari shoi. This deluge of prema, she goda hari inundates the world, and this prema is the sweet rasa of braj, known as manjari bhava's prema which is hardly attained by Brahma and Shiva. <coughs> Interesting, he says now the prem that he is giving is this Manjari Bhava prem. Means also those who get this touch, they become very uh, small and very childlike and they become so crazy that they just want to serve. They don't think about themselves anymore. That's why they now need protection. They become also babies. Like our Gurudev lately, he has said, I, I am now baby. I have become your baby. They, they just immerse in these deep, deep feelings of their half of their seva. And everything that happens externally, they are also expecting that we take care of, not expecting, but they need the help of all the devotees. We have a very beautiful seva now. We can help by, you know, letting Gurudev know that we are, don't, don't worry, Gurudev, we are doing everything as you desire. You just become mad in your prema. <laughs> in Suniti, <coughs> Suniti GD. So this for me very amazing because I <coughs> I have read Chaitanya Charitamrita many times. At that time, so Mahaprabhu is Maha uh, Maha uh, Namu Maha Badanaya. So must be given to distribute prema. So we know Mahaprabhu did. Again, we need the magic touch. So what kind of prema Mahaprabhu want to give us? That is, you know, for me, nobody tells us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true for Hon me also. Honestly. And then this Baba say, this prema is a sweet rasa of Guraja known as Manjari Baba prema. Oh my God, he's very clearly mentioned. True. Because this is easy actually. Because Manjari, no, Mahaprabhu want to taste <coughs> Radha's love, <coughs> Radha's feeling. Then Mahaprabhu want to distribute this Radha's feeling. So who know Radha's feeling most? This is only Manjari. So therefore, naturally, he 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 want to distribute this Manjari Baba. But <coughs> this Manjari Baba is very hidden word. Gurudev say, usually Baba did not say Manjari. Manjari. Mm -hmm. Because even Rupa Gosami did not say Manjari Baba. <laughs> he said Baba Urasati. Oh, Saki Baba. Now they use the general word of friend, Saki. Yeah, but uh, this Manjari Baba, he wants to say Baba Urasa. This is very interesting. So, therefore, Kabiraj Goswami or even Pabupada. He did not mention because we are so new point. So you should find out the other thing, you know. So and then Baja Masi Vodashka Bajnaba, like a Guru Dev and Anandas Bhavaj Maharaj. We could uh, we could understand what kind of Purema Mahaprabhu want to give us. And
Also, how can we, how can we get this flame? What is the process? <coughs> that's also, that's also we don't know. And <laughs> we don't know who can teach us. No. But we are very fortunately, we found out, or maybe, no, not found out, rather than guide us to bring Rashka Vaishnava to us. This may be correct. Yes. Radha Mohan's mercy, we, we could meet such Rashka Vaishnava. Uh, this, is, uh, this is our great fortune. That's I, I'm feeling this. This one is so clearly mentioned. I never, never did, I never read this kind of clearness <laughs> in other books. Maybe Ananda's Baba may mention another place, but uh, as a author, I don't know. Maybe some, but uh, I'm, I don't know, honestly speaking. Yeah, you are right. Generally, we were just, uh, you know, thinking that Prema is love of God. It was a general understanding, like we say, Krishna is God, but we know there are so different many different features of this wonderful, playful personality and of our Srimati Radhika, so many more things to find out about her sidelong glance and how she fulfills his desires and how she is making him spin and all these wonderful, wonderful things that are the, the nectar of that prema that were not taught before like this not known no. so we can understand we are lucky we have the mercy already we have that, that mercy now just how to continue to serve the mercy to serve Jai Radhe, Shiva Prada Prabhu Radhe. Ah, I'm very happy Shiva Prada Prabhu we need your poet Yes. yes. Need your mercy. Okay, I have two two poems is ready for the maybe some of next time. Wonderful, okay. yes. Tomorrow we can do tomorrow. Tomorrow my working tomorrow. I'm afraid uh, the tomorrow after tomorrow I working so in the Friday or on Saturday I'm free so we can uh, I hope. Yes, that arrange for that date. So for maybe you, for you. Uh, maybe Kurachan Sangha or yes, maybe, right. because you need Mahababa's translation. Yes. Maybe. She's the best. She's the best translator. <laughs> she can oh, understand. Guru Dev is uh, here, Skel, no? <laughs> I, oh, he he is still uh, in the hospital. I don't yeah. know if he's listening. Sometimes he's listening uh, hidingly, but I think maybe today not. Oh, oh maybe, yeah, That's maybe, is. yeah. That's is there. Uh, how is his health going better? Yes, yes. Very, better. very much better. He's coming out of the hospital. They write also in the Radha Dasyam group, but not all of us are there. So, yeah, he's coming out soon and he will be back. Oh, nice. Monday soon. He's him. getting much better. Okay, some of you will go in uh, Radha Kund. I don't know who is in India now, actually. Or oh, is Bakulashtami? It's a celebration. Now it's a Kartik time. Many days are there for celebration, and always some devotees go for pilgrimage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, I think uh, we are just concentrating on doing our Zooms also according to Gurudev's desire and sometimes devotees go for pilgrimage always in Mongol Mandir there's some days where they go to take the ashan of Radha Kund also yeah but the best 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 pilgrimage is this kind of hearing <laughs> <laughs> we are basing in Radha Kund in Radhika's uh, mercy and grace by hearing and listening yes it's true <laughs> of course, everything is in the heart, actually. She is inside. Nice. Beautiful. We were just discussing how 
how much mercy we have by knowing that the prem that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was giving or is giving mm -hmm. is not, not past tense. It is now happening. That prem is the Mandri Bhav prem. That is actually the mercy that we get in this Kali Yuga. And we are so lucky that we can have the mercy of Rasika Vaishnavas who are revealing these details to us. Because one thing is to have Sambandha Gyan, as we know, it is the mercy to get Sambandha, to have a general relation. I am a servant of Krishna. I am a servant of Radha Rani. I am a servant of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I want to serve them. But then how the details go, who am I in my spiritual existence? What kind of service? And in which body can I do this service? That is all the details that we get from the Rasika Vaishnavas to enter, to enter, really enter in the spiritual realm, in that material existence that we have right now. We can enter in a spiritual body with the spiritual consciousness by the mercy of our Gurudev and the Rasika Vaishnavas. Seeing the fallen souls, the Lord was crying. This is now an explanation how one devotee who was with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained his feelings. Unable to remain calm, he glanced with his merciful eyes. So he came to earth with a matchless golden form. I would die for that Goranga. I cannot forget his sweet form and his clever love for even half a moment. This clever love we were discussing before is that love that makes the living entities completely transformed when they get a touch of it. They feel so attracted, they never want to leave him or her. He did not mind about caste or caste and ashram, haves or have-nots, or any fault anyone might have. This is also describing the unique position of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, of this combined avatar glowing with the merciful heart of Srimati Radhika and equipped with the beauty and the shelter looking, you know, sweet Brajendra Nandana who wants to experience that love. And like this, when they are together, they become so un, un you know, you cannot express the beauty and the mercy that they together emanate. Because it's that moment when they are forgetting themselves and they don't care anymore. I like this expression that Gopinata was giving the other day in one Zoom. He said, yes, Goranga Mahaprabhu is walking in the Kunja Leela. Whenever he comes somewhere, whenever they appear together in this golden love, they are in the mood of always being in union. And that's why when every word comes out of his mouth, it's so sweet because it's her words. And they don't care. Shimati Radhika doesn't care about somebody's backgrounds. And in India, it was never heard before that, you know, you don't need to be a Brahmin, you don't need to be a, a, a scholar or any high learned person that you can experience love or ecstasy in divine rapture. But he was giving it, Mahaprabhu was giving it to the Muslims, to the Buddhists, to the impersonalists, to the children, to even all the animals in the forest. Everyone, every living entity who come in touch, they get blessed by the golden love of Srimati Radhika, that even Krishna cannot understand without her mercy. Rather, he bestowed the treasure of Prem, which is rarely attained even by Lakshmi, Shiva or Brahma, 
and he bestowed this on all the people of the world. Thus Gora appeared with such a compassionate and rasika heart, making the world rich with the treasure of Prem, which is desired or coveted by Govinda Das. Wow. Nadara Sasuniti Anantadas Baba explained in this kind of bus <coughs> why Lakshmi Shiva Brahma they cannot attain this prema, this Manjari Baba. Anandas Baba explained like Shiva Brahma Shukadeva, they have Purusha Bhima. And also Lakshmiji has Aishwarya Baba. So she cannot she cannot throw out this Aishwarya Baba. She cannot follow the footstep of you know Gopi, Saki, and Manjari. So that is a problem. This Anantas Baba explained. Wonderful, thank you. Yeah, that is also my problem. That I think I am this, I am that, I have to control this, I am the, you know, I am the checker or controller, <laughs> whatever it is, you know, even my kitchen, I think I am the controller of my kitchen. <laughs> when I forget Shimatiratika, then this happens. Clever yeah, love that's clever. what, Udavji? Clever, clever love is means wise love, it means yes. Re Realize that it, it means prema that knows that it is prema that has no further path to go. Yes, and the clever love it's it's uh, what they get bewildered by. I feel that's what my feeling. This clever love is so sweet that it is binding. And therefore, I thought that this is good for this month because this is the month when the binding in love is, is, is the merciful gift of Shibhati Radhika. And we pray also that she is also binding us with her clever love. And in a way, we could feel that it has already happened because we are attracted to the mercy of Vrindavan of the Rasika Vaishnavas and attracted to this idea that I can become your Dasi. <laughs> Very clever. The sweet form and the clever love, it's like the combination of Radha and Mohan is so attractive <laughs> that nobody can stay normal in their normal conditioning anymore. <laughs> Wonderful. This is a this is a, a verse that was sung or meditated by Govinda Das. And compassionate also means that everyone is included. There's nothing, no consideration of unqualified or qualified. It's like an embrace to the whole world. And I feel sometimes when I become po uh, poetic in my um, meditations about Maha Mantra, then I feel that when Radha and Mohan embrace, and we can see that in Gauranga, it is this divine embrace, because Radha and Mohan are always together. Then they also embrace everyone else, and they embrace even the whole world, and they give this love, what they feel in their embrace, and in their um, happiness to all the living entities who are attracted and who also are not attracted. Yesterday we had this nice story of this one uh, Muslim uh, governor or who he was who didn't like the devotees to do kirtan. He was so inimical. He was doing, you know, he was making plans how to ruin the Midangas and how to kick the devotees, but just by the mercy of Chaitanya, he became reversed. He got completely uh, transformed. All of a sudden, after some uh, meetings, 
he likes that. And he became a Kirtania. He started to dance and chant. He became, so clever. The, he became clever. He became clever. Yeah. He realized that the love was already there in him. It's not that we're lacking love. It's that we're lacking a realization of the love we have. This is what uh, the path of enlightenment is, finding out how we are already lovers. Wow. No? Wonderful, yes. Uh, Beautiful. Yeah, that's the point of transformation. Eh? It's not that these ingredients are not there. It's just like a different... <laughs> Good. <laughs> you make miracle. Only the missing of realization we miss. Love is there. Yeah. Really, really beautiful point. Also, Jananda say beautiful point. Uma, Shiva. And Lakshmi cannot understand this love. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Agudi. There is a beautiful face. Yes. Yes. <laughs> My God. We are lucky with the other <laughs> So, Guruji. Radhe, Radhe. Sorry. Oh, uh, can I ask something? Uh, I will try to express myself in my English. Uh, it's limited, but okay. Uh, I want to ask Jayananda, Udava Prabhu, <laughs> and Suniti also. Um, so it's, it's just said that uh, this Maha, Namo Mahavadanyaya actually is Manjari Bhav. Um, so uh, sometimes it's said that uh, whoever um, have this possibility to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to touch him, even just see, it become um, fulfilled with prema. And uh, I hear some explanation that uh, I want to ask which kind of prema, because somebody said that uh, they uh, became uh, full, uh, full of the prema according to their bhava, but we just said now that, that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants to give Manjari Bhav to everyone. Is it seed distributing everywhere? But after that, this seed must be cultivated to become Manjari Bhava because in the same time, he wants to distribute to everyone and at the same time is very confidential. So if you can do say something about it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <coughs> My understanding like this. <laughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had. Again, you touched or touched? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radharani. So Radharani is mood. Radharani is bodily color. Actually, Radharani. So Radharani has Mahaprabhu. This. Namo Mahabadanaya Krishna Prema Pradayate. So, actually, Prema, but actually, Mahababa. It is uh, according to uh, Anandas Baba's explanation. Anything touch with Mahababa become Mahababa. Mm. <laughs> so, 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 therefore, if someone touch or keep some contact with Mahaprabhu, he get Prema and Mahababa. But also, there is some kind of qualification also. Of course, here mentioned no qualification. But for example, like Murari Gupta or uh, Rupa Goswami's brother Anupam, they have already some Baba there. You know, there is the Deva is Rama. So, of course, you know, Mahaprabhu does not care who, who are you, who, who am I, who you are. But also, 
according to our adhikara. Because if we see Mahaprabhu's associate, some is Manjari, some is touch. Sorry. You know, if we see Mahaprabhu associate, if we see Gora Gunadesha Deepika, someone is Manjari, someone is Saki, someone is Gopa, you know, maybe someone is maybe Basarela. <coughs> so, there is, you know, he's for, he, he dispute openly. But still inside some kind of, you know, according to our adhikara, like sanskara, or our, our, our stai baba, someone may get <coughs> manjari baba, <coughs> someone may not, because each, each living entity has a different desire, different kind of baba. So that's, I, I feel, you know, Open, but uh, you know, what say? Some each living entity ha has some specific feeling, specific kind of nature. That's my understanding. Maybe Suniti may say. I'm just thinking really egoistical. <laughs> I think I don't care, you know, as long as I have some mercy that I can be attracted to it, I feel happy, you know, I feel, I really, I am at a point now, really, I don't want to understand everybody's bath anymore. I try to do that. I try to analyze a lot. But right now, I feel, let me concentrate on my realizations. Let me push myself and let me understand that I want to go for it and I want to really beg and cry for the mercy. But I like your explanation very, very much, uh, uh, Jayananda. It is, it is also un, un, uh, unexpected how Mahaprabhu was giving his mercy to some. They could become manjaris like Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati. He, he became into that mood and some they stayed in their own moods. But honestly, I don't try to understand it anymore. <laughs> Yeah, we also I'm very we proud also. of Suniti. <laughs> this has to be a Thai bow. This is a Thai bow. Wow, Suniti. Are you mercy, very <laughs> proud of you. This says Thai bow. <laughs> Fixed nature <laughs> that we require in our life. Rather, thank you. <laughs> It's good to be small and to be a baby. Budavji, <laughs> <laughs> you want to say what is your feeling about this question of well, Diana? To start on to what Jainanda Maharaj is saying, that of course, bhav is not them. Bhav is the mood, the attitude, your way of your attitude towards it's divine. Okay. I know. I don't believe her. I too am fooled by it. You are sitting in my satisfaction. Oh. It will be good. No, no, please. She is she of my body. You take and you take. I cannot uh, speak as a pirate. Yes. Galapri. Galapri. Yes. Okay. Mm. <coughs> it's your bhav, bhav is your opening to divine love. It's your orientation, your way of relating to divine love. And the most open the most inviting, the most humble way of... Again, mute. 
The most open way of relating to divine love is Manjari Bhav. Because that's the closest we can come to Radharani, who is the embodiment of divine love. So there are different ways. There's anger, there's envy, there's style, there's different kinds of attitudes towards the world, relations to love. The, the greatest and the closest to them is Manjari Bhav. That's why we seek it. Ah. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Because, you know, very interesting because if we see, if we someone read Chaitanya Charitamrita, some person see Mahaprabhu is Krishna. Or some person see Mahaprabhu Radha and Krishna combine together. Some devotee, Rashka devotee, see Mahaprabhu is Radha. <laughs> Someone who has died. <laughs> oh no, this is Mahaprabhu's Radha. <laughs> From beginning, I don't understand, you know, this kind of vision. I don't understand, honestly. But slowly, slowly, by Guru Devas, why Guru Dev is saying Mahaprabhu's Radha? You know, and then start thinking, start meditating. Oh my God. Guru Dev is style, Manjari. So therefore, he cannot see. Oh, he, he could see only rather than nothing else. If we have <laughs> naturally see Mahaprabhu is all rather than. Jaiho. Different person has a different vision. Yes, it's about the feelings. It's not right or wrong. It's about the yes. feelings I want to fix in my heart and the relation I want to realize and bloom openly. Mm -hmm. And we are lucky that Gurudev is pressing us by his love, by his mercy, by his caring. Otherwise, if nobody cares that I get this, I will not find it myself so easily in a pure way. Now, even even uh, uh, Raghunath uh, uh, is praying that I my dear Shimati Radhika, I am very happy that you offer me to be your friend, but I like to be your Darcy. So that is the that yes. is the that is the point uh, that we get many offers and we have many uh, interests before, but now it's time to be one pointed. <coughs> okay, I would like to continue to read if you if you agree. It's some more nectar coming here. After this, the blessed author says, Radhikara Pranapati Kibhave Kandayaniti Ihabuja Bhakata Samaj. The original personality of Godhead, Rajendra Nandana, accepted the feelings of Shirada. And although he was himself the Lord of Sri Radha's life, he simply wept in Sri Radha's mood. And now comes the song that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was singing. Kahan Kodo Kahapa Kahamora prana nata murali vada. What shall I do? Where can I get Prajendra Nandana? Where is the Lord of my life who plays the flute? What shall I say to whom? Who will know my distress? Without Prajendra Nandana, my heart breaks. So this is actually very secret, secret um, revelation of Shrimati Radhika. Who will know my distress? It's only the mandris. They are so close. They will know how she feels and what she needs. And that's why you explained also so nicely Jainanda Maharajji, that 
the mandris they know what is the best and what is the feeling of Shimati Radhika. Otherwise, she cannot reveal herself to anybody. And Sriman Mahaprabhu's main aim was to relish the sweetness of Sri Radha's love, taking shelter of Sri Radha Rani's feelings of separation. Because separation is most capable of stirring the ocean of Prem, and thus its relish is also most astonishing. So we feel now, we feel also the separation of you, Gurudev, and that is also stirring our hearts. We want to, we want to really check ourselves. We want to be, like you say, stay bath. We want to really be our best in our, in our desires and in our feelings. And so we feel already now when, when when the circumstances of life are changing like they always do that is bringing us out of our comfort zones and that we want to really feel close relation when this normal uh, circumstances are not there anymore so we see how separation makes the heart grow fonder the feelings are rising because now I know it's not, it's nobody knows when will I be able to feel like this in my service? When will I be able to serve again when the circumstances are changing? So we always feel this anxiety and feel this desire. Oh, I have to go to Vrindavan. I never know when is the last flight that is possible <laughs> i know it's you know it sounds crazy but this eagerness has to be in the heart then the uh, separation mood makes us crazy and so the same way mahaprabhu radharani was saying also how can i express to anybody i how i feel about brajendra nandana she was in this pagali mood and exactly that mood is what Krishna tried to relish in her heart. Now Munga Mandir has gone out of the Zoom, huh? Maybe they are having some problems, yes. I will continue. Today we had a lot of, of uh, electricity go coming and going. Okay, so thank back on soon. okay, thank you, Gopika. Human words are unable to reveal all the amazing feelings of separation from Sri Krishna that arose in loving Sri Radharani's heart. Out of separation, from Shri Krishna, Shri Radha Rani became mad and her heart became filled with Krishna inside and out. So here we see that, yeah, the separation makes not only increase of emotion, but it fills. It makes a special filling of deep, deep, deep feelings that were not possible before. Her knowledge was about Krishna, her meditation on Krishna, her heart given to Krishna, her whole heart was filled with Krishna. The external world even ceased to exist for Krishna Moi, Radha who was full of Krishna consciousness. She wanders through Raja's deep forest like a mad woman, explaining or exclaiming, Ha Krishna, Ha Krishna. She does not lift an eyebrow 
when her tender flower feet are pierced by thorns. When a poisonous snake sticks up its hoods and hisses, she does not look at it, although she sees it. She is simply absorbed in Krishna consciousness and is very anxious to attain Krishna. Her sakis are somehow saving Prema Pagalini, Radha who is mad with love. And the sakis or her friends, the mandris, they are saving, somehow saving her life. So we are so lucky that we can read this now, because like uh, Jayananda Maharaj was also expressing, we heard before the general understanding of that Mahaprabhu is Krishna, who want to taste or feel Shrimati Radhika's love, but we never got this direct understanding to feel that she is Shrimati Radhika herself coming to give this prema, to give this special love of her dasis, because only she can give that. Krishna has no access. <laughs> Krishna is a foreigner, <laughs> like Gurudev says, and also Prabhupada says in Chaitanya Chaitamita. Krishna is a foreigner to this. He wants to feel it himself. So we are lucky. We are here now at that time. And it's the special time also of Kartik where we can meditate how Shrimati Radhika, how our dear Swamini is binding Mohan. And as we have heard the other days in our Zooms, that the Mandaris, the Dasis, they like very much when Krishna is becoming very Pagal in his binding, when he is also so ready to serve their Swamini in his modes of surrender. And who would read this? Who would who would express this like that? You know, Baba is so also so uh, generous. First, he says human words are unable to reveal all the amazing feelings of separation that arose in loving Sri Radharani's heart. But then he explains it. Isn't that amazing? We are lucky that this comes to us. We are very lucky that we can relish the remnants and get the training and get this one-pointed uh, feelings that somebody is giving to us, our Guru Manjari is giving to us because she loves us for some unknown reason. There is no reason. It's just like her overflowing love. Shri Krishna accepts Sri Radha's mood and relishes this ecstatic condition of Divyan Madhavati. Sri Radha, who is mad with love for Krishna, in his form of Sri Gauranga, in his Gambira Leela in Nilachala in Puri. No one is able to understand these deep feelings. Only devotees can experience it according to their capacity. See, that is also answering your question again, Dayanidhi Prabhu, that uh, it's not to be understood, but one can experience it according to capacity. So sometimes we feel, well, how come that this mercy came to me? Because I have the good well-wishing uh, love of someone who has a capacity. That is only the only reason. We are lucky. We are the causeless mercy cases of our Gurudev. Even Sri Krishna cannot fully understand the loving activities of his devotees. What to speak of others? Who then has the power to understand the loving activities of Maha Bhava Mai Sri Radharani? Just to understand these loving activities, 
Shri Krishna has taken the moods of Sri Radha and has become Gora. And also Baba has answered the question before when he is asking who has the power to understand the loving activities of Mahabhava Moi Sri Radharani. Only the maidservants who have also this capacity of feeling and this Bhava Ula Sarati, the same feeling, the mirror of the feelings of their Swamini. Now comes another quote to the end of the verse of Chaitanya Taitamrita. Even Krishna is astonished when he sees the loving transformation of his devotees. If Krishna cannot find their end, what to speak of any significant person? Krishna cannot fully know all the different stages and courses, all the misery, happiness and transformation the devotee's prema goes through. He relishes it by accepting the mood of a devotee. Ah, here comes this famous quote. Prema makes Krishna dance, it makes the devotees dance and it dances itself. All the three dance in one place. Jai Ho Gurudev, we are so happy that you come out of the hospital, we have heard. Is it true or is it just a rumor? <laughs> yes, Gurudev is coming out tomorrow. Jai Ho! <laughs> wow, so nice. He's, he's and you are there. Better already. Wonderful. No, we are so he happy. will take some days more rest in Delhi. Yes. To fully recover. That is good. Yes. And he is but speaking is already. already. He's speaking but a lot. Urdu is speaking a lot. Yes, he tries, and then again he has to stop it and rest, and yeah. So it goes on. And you are with him now. He's very. Yeah, I'm today. I'm in hospital, and he's listening to your class and enjoying your uh, association very, very much. Really, well, he loves we are lucky. to listen to you, and he is actually uh, very much in love when he listens. Oh, this is the mercy of all devotees. Now we are missing Jayananda and Udava. He was so excited. I love this when Gurudev becomes so excited. Mm. Wonderful. We are also excited to be here with all of you devotees who are so eager to listen to the nectar and to feel the feelings of separation and feel the love. Wow, Gurudev, we are so happy yeah. that you are getting better. Thank you, Gurudev. Oh, very happy to see you. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Daddy, now we will switch to the Kirtan group. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh uh, no, I... no. Where oh. are you now? Are you back? We're back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, great that you are back. The bridge pass is up back. <laughs> So we missed your explanation. <laughs> <laughs> no, you missed nothing. But Gurudev was very happy. And uh, Razesh Maharaj just told us that he enjoyed so much. He has so many feelings to listen, all of your feelings. He's very happy to listen 
to you and to see all of us together here. And he was sending flying kisses to all of us. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey, may yes. I ask? Yes. May I ask something? Just uh, one technical question, please. <laughs> I heard that Guru Deva lost uh, his mobile phone, so I wanted to send the first one uh, poem for him. But I don't know. Is it the same uh, uh, number of phone, or there is some other? It's a different number. It's on. Uh, it's on Radha Dasyam posted. Right. It's posted on the Radha Dasyam. Uh -huh. It is posted, and you can also ask Mahaba from Croatia, mm -hmm. uh, from Serbia, or where she is. I I sent it to her the other days because some devotees didn't follow because they were sick or something. So she has the new number of Gurudev that okay. you can also because you are in touch with her. Yes, yes, I will pay for her and uh, send uh, points to Gurudev first and uh, mm -hmm. try to make him happy a little bit <laughs> you know my way yes he will he will be happy so happy to hear your poems sure. 